Today I'm gonna to share with you my secret for automating social media posts from WordPress completely free using Sure Triggers. With this tool, every time you publish a new blog post, it will automatically share to your social media accounts, saving you time and helping you reach a wider audience. Sure Triggers is made for WordPress, so it's great for this because it integrates seamlessly with your blog. There are freed and paid options available, but the free plan allows up to five workflows, so it should be good for everything that I'm showing you in this tutorial. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is create a free account with Sure Triggers. Now, if you want to follow along with me through this tutorial, I have a link for Sure Triggers in the description and it will bring you to this page. To get started, just click the Get Started button and then create an account. Then when you sign in, it's going to look something like this. After that's done, you're going to want to install the Sure Triggers plugin on your WordPress website. So head over to your WordPress admin and then go to plugins and add new plugin. Search for Sure Triggers up here on the top right. And then you're gonna see it pop up over here and then click install now. And when that's done installing, click activate. And then we can go through the setup wizard by clicking get started now. And if you are already logged into your Sure Triggers account, something like this should come up. If you're not, it should prompt you to log in. After you confirm that this email address is correct, click authorize and continue. And then when I did that, it added the Sure Triggers dashboard into my WordPress dashboard and you can work in here if you want, but I feel like it's a little crowded. So I'm gonna pop back to the Sure Triggers website. This is where we signed in originally. And the next thing we are going to do is we are going to create our first workflow. Now workflow is basically just an automation. And the first automation we are going to set up is so that every time you create a new blog post, it automatically shares to your Facebook page. So you can click this create workflow button right up here and then click create from scratch. And we're going to call this share blog posts to Facebook and then click create. And then we are going to click add trigger. And then when the apps come up, you're going to want to search for WordPress, select it. And then for select event, you're going to want to choose that the event is going to be when a post is created or updated. And then something should come up that says select connection and it should automatically be the website that you just connected. If not, choose the correct connection and then click the continue button. Next, we're going to configure this trigger. We are going to choose which post types are going to be the ones that are going to trigger this automation. Personally, I'm just going to select posts here. And then for select post, I am going to choose any one and then I'm going to click continue. And then to test the connection, we are going to click fetch data. And then I'm gonna click save. Next, we're gonna to wanna to do the action, which is to share it on the Facebook page. So I'm going to click the plus sign here. And then for an action, I am going to search for Facebook. I'm going to go to Facebook pages. And then under select event, I'm going to choose create post on page. And then under select connection, I do not have a connection set up here right now. So I'm going to click create new connection. And I'm going to allow sure triggers to connect to my Facebook account. And after that goes through under select connection, I am going to choose Facebook pages. And then I'm going to click continue. I'm going to select the page I'm using up here. And then I'm going to enter in post content and the URL by putting the at symbol first and selecting data from the last steps. So for post content, I'm going to click the at symbol and then I'm going to scroll down to post excerpt, select it. And then for link URL, I am going to put the at symbol again. And then I'm going to scroll down to what looks like the URL. And then I'm going to select that. 
and then I'm going to click continue. And then we're going to test it by clicking the test action button. And after the test is done, you can refresh your Facebook page to see if it's there. And it worked, there it is. So pop back to Sure Triggers and then click Save. Now, if you're using the free version of Sure Triggers, you're not going to be able to do multi step workflows, which means you're going to have to make a new workflow for each action, each social media account you want to connect. So you would just repeat this process, but instead of the app for the action being Facebook, it would be whatever social media account you want to connect to. If you do have the paid version of Sure Triggers, you can just go ahead and add in other uh, social media accounts right here and connect those so you have all of it in one automation just like that. And also if you have the paid version of Sure Triggers, you might want to add in a delay. That way you can feel like comfortable like if you accidentally publish a post that's not ready or if you want to make changes before it goes live, this could be a great way to give you a little bit of a time buffer. So like I'm going to set this as delay four, and then I'm going to put one hour just to give me a little bit of space. And I did try to do this without testing the action and it won't let me. So go ahead and click test action and then click save. And then when you're done with everything, don't forget to click publish in the top right. And that's it. Now you know how to make a free automation. So every time that you create a blog post, it automatically gets posted to your social media accounts. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If I was helpful to you, don't forget to check the description to download your free nine step roadmap to DIY your first website, which will walk you through everything you need to do to get your site live from start to finish. Thank you so much for watching.